What is going on, everyone? You have made it. We are at the 2024 Legends of the Lake, presented by Innova. This is the final back nine, round five, King Vale 2 Disc Golf Course, Soda Springs. Woo -hoo, we got yeah. a good one. I dig it. He, this lead car is playing. You guys got myself, Spanky Edwards, my good buddy Dave Salatar in the booth. I do. Catch Cam, <laughs> safety, Ridge Merkley. <laughs> Thanks again, buddy, for all your help this weekend. <laughs> We appreciate you. Yeah, guys, this is presented by Innova Disc Golf. Uh, like we said, the last nine of five courses. This is it. Who who can step on the gas? Yeah. Because Tristan's got a four-stroke lead with nine holes to go, and he doesn't seem to be slowing down. Um, they're all shooting pretty well. There was all it was all threes and fours for our lead court lead card on that front nine. We had a couple of fives out there. Um, chasing these guys down but I, I i don't see anybody coming from the chase cards yeah. these guys are just playing too hot right now i'm excited to watch some good disc golf oh sorry three stroke lead for tristan three strokes yeah. going in oh. but yep. you know i think we're watching some really 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 good disc golf i agree yeah these guys are, are shredding up a new a brand new course that they have not had a lot of time to practice because they only just brand put new. in this year so this course is so fire that they put fire extinguishers on it yeah i think it's a great addition to have they, to have, tahoe. A they have a fire extinguisher on every single hole oh, that's on great. every single t-pad so you, you know if anything were to go down like any single person can be a first responder and just put a fire out that's great with our horrible fire danger up here so i like it well hole 10 it looks like it's a short uh, 305 <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're gonna see a lot of this coming up coming up on the back nine um great shot there's, there's just some tight lines off the tee that very very specific shot shapes that you got to hit. Um, very rewarding when you get them, and unrewarding when you don't. It seems to be the theme out here. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. approach. And this is playing at elevation too. You know, I think yes, probably the highest elevation course for this tournament. I got to imagine. I'm not actually sure of the elevation here, but it's at the you know. Yeah, it's top of the 80, right? Yeah, like, so it's, <laughs> it's like it's seven, you know, 65, seven grand. We'll have to fact check that one. It's like, what's the elevation of Boreal? Oh, Boreal's like, yeah, it's over 7,000. Yeah, it's right up there. You know, it's right near there. Yeah. Well, talking about uh, putting the foot on the pedal, Tristan converts another birdie. Just won't let him sneak in, you know? Yep. Ryan Baines, kind of the last one with a chance. Yeah, but, the, you know, Jules has been playing pretty lights out lately. He has been. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, he was five down in the front nine. That's It's hard to do much better than that. In fact, nobody did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... But he will take a par and he will lose a stroke to our leader, Tristan. So, mm -hmm. extending that lead to four. On uh, to hole 11, 196. Yeah. Well, made that look easy. Yeah. I'm loving the technicalities on these shots. See, I think or that's going to be like too high. Or it's perfect. <laughs> it's hard to tell from that camera angle, but there's a little gap on the left side. I, maybe when he gets out of the way, you'll see it, right? I think I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so from the other angle, you saw it came just around that tree. That's the gap everyone's trying to hit right there. Just right like about that. there. Yep. It's weird how it looks like there's no gap from yeah, this angle. Yeah, it really but then does. From the other angle, you see it. It's. Oh, and then you throw it a little too hard, and that happens. Yeah, looks like he's still oh, a little jumper. Yeah, you can see still the debris. Yep. Pay no mind. But I think over time that's going to get walked down, and yeah. people are going to start throwing sticks off nope. the side. Don't and... forget about winter. It's going to compress a lot of it. Sure is. 
But you know, you get down there to your lie and your disc is sitting on 20 sticks. You start throwing them off to the side. So naturally over time, people are just going to naturally clear these greens out and they're going to get cleaner. For real though. <laughs> Ryan Ben, nice birdie. Yeah, it looks like what? Andrew, Ryan, Ryan. Tristan for Brady. Bringing himself to five down. Good job. Tristan's starting to taste that pizza. Mm hmm. It's like pepperoni, mushroom, you know. For real, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, hold 12, 189 feet. This one's kind of tricky. This, uh, it's not long, but. Everything in between the tee pad and the basket mm. is treacherous. So if you hit early and like kick into that stuff, it's really, really tough to get your footing. Even if you're like, you know, 40 short, it's so hard. Yeah, it you just looks like a sea of green. A sea of green, there's big pile of logs in there. It's just, it, it's tough to, uh, which, but it's not tough to get past at all. It's only 189, but if you do get an unfortunate kick. That's where it's going, yeah. See how much lower than the basket he was? Mm -hmm. It's like a it's a complete ditch down there. Look at Tristan way down there. Ooh. I gotta say at this point, these guys are going for everything. I mean, yeah, they they pretty much locked in their positions, mm -hmm. if not trying to take one on somebody else. Yeah. You know, everybody's kind of almost where they're gonna be. We got Sale and McGill kind of fighting over third place there. So one of them's gonna oh sorry, fourth place. One of them's gonna try to knock down the, the solo. Smart pro move. Mm -hmm. Put it in softly so it doesn't bounce out. Wicked smart. <laughs> Wicked smart. <laughs> All right. Like Gasp. <laughs> I'm so tired. Hole <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> 244. Uh, is this a little... Ooh. Now, are there uh, longer positions here yet? Or maybe in the future, once it gets beat in, are they going to be adding? Do you know at all? Um, I don't know that much about this course, to be honest. Like, okay. as far as, like, their future plans for it. Mm-hmm. I'd only played it the one time. It seems natural to, to eventually add more, you know. Yeah. Whoa. Doing some course maintenance. But every, but I, a lot of the pin position, a lot of the holes do have multiple pin positions. I just haven't seen all of them yet. Oh, okay, so they do already. Okay. Yeah, especially, I know, especially at the Kingvale 1, almost every single hole had two, if not three, pin positions. Oh, it looks like you sailed by there. Kingville 1, by the way, is the other course on the property. This is Kingville 2. Mm -hmm. Kingville 1 is much shorter. Uh, yeah, definitely much more, like, beginner-friendly. Um, also, just more of a, like, a casual, like, more of a casual round. Sure. If you want to just go out with the buddies and play a fun round. This is definitely, like, bring your hiking boots, bring your water. Or if you got, a, a, you know, a little extra time, that's your warm-up round. Sure. That's, right, yeah. that's what we did. We were able to play both courses. And it was definitely, it was a great way to warm up. Ooh. Ooh. What a great addition to the Tahoe Disc Golf. I agree. We can never have too much disc golf. <laughs> I, I agree. For real, though. Oh, nice putt. Yeah, personally, I'd like to thank Premium Disc Golf for actually bringing us some f coverage of this. And, you know, for people who haven't seen this course before. Oh, absolutely. Like, hey, here's a little preview. I mean, I know literally that coming up this weekend we're going on a little bachelor weekend mm -hmm. where we'll be playing disc golf up in the north shore and we got friends coming from all around if they haven't played they can just go watch this you know yeah are you gonna be playing for money your money <laughs> <laughs> that's some real dough you, real. you could just give it to me now <laughs> hole 14 212 feet this guy is, you know, 
Looks like it's just right up the gut. Yeah, it's a it's a fun shot. It's right there in front of you. Um, but just keeping it on par with the rest of the course. Don't hit and kick down because the hillside's so steep. You can end up 60 away on a 212 foot hole because yeah. you took a bad kick. You know. <clears throat> this one looks like it's a little more. It needs less manicuring. Yeah, more of a natural shot. Yeah, this one's great. This one it seems like it was already there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my gosh, how many almost aces are we going to see? Come on, Mike. <laughs> Great shot, Mike. Uh, be better. Be be <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cut a little, little loner tree there. All right, looks like Ryan's going to settle for his three. But he's had some vicious spit outs and... Just slight misses. So that's a little right, but yeah, just yeah, an inch in he makes it. Mm -hmm. Ryan converts for his birdie, as well as our leader, Tristan Cook. He has almost put the nail in the coffin. I mean, yeah, these guys are so good. It would be surprising to see a, a blow up of that sorts, you know. In the next sure, couple sure. Holes. Although we have seen some in the PDGA as of late. <laughs> it's happened. It's been exciting. Wow. Uh, hole 15, 184. No idea what's going on here. <laughs> Hopefully they can show you. There it is. There it is. Ooh, there's some stuff out there. We got two putting so far. Watch oh. out, Ridge. I'll tell you what, he puts himself in danger all the time. Thank God he's got that hard hat. <laughs> and glasses. <laughs> Safety goggles. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I mean, this is what we're talking about with the stuff that will eventually clear out is all those those sticks right there on the green. You'd like to see those go, but it shouldn't take long for them to be yeah. thrown to the side. Yeah, oh like my I said, gosh. Oh, rare miss. Uh, yeah, like a real Sierra winter, like, you know, will crush a lot of that. Mm -hmm. As well as, like, people standing on it and cracking them. And yep. If, you know, I'm not sure what the volunteer uh, situation is up there, but... Maybe they pull them all off as well. But, you know, it takes a lot. But also, to, hey, it while takes a lot to, like, clear out a course. Hey, while you're up there playing, throw a couple sticks to the side. Yeah. You know? Make it happen. Do your part. Are you complaining? <laughs> Have you volunteered yet? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Put the work in, folks. Uh, hole 16, par 3, <clears throat> 243. Oh, there it is over on the left side. That looks like a cool shot. Yeah. He didn't get j just not enough turn on that one, but that's the shape you're looking for. That looks like it's going to do it. Boy, I guarantee you a lot of those trees are coming down at some point. Uh, they look... Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Just wind, snow, weather. Definitely. Angry disc golfer. Angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. All right. Oh, you hit an early tree there, but uh, you have to do a little mini That's scramble. Long. That's a nice looking line. Oh, a little long, though. I like how he trusted the angle on that overstable mm -hmm. disc. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a la Spanky Edwards. <laughs> I've, I've seen you put that justice on some, some angles. I didn't think we were going to come out, but they did. They did. That's a great putt for Kelly. Yeah. Not Kelly Ryan. Sorry. Looking yeah, five of the last seven. He's not giving up. He's uh, no, he's, he's the only other at forty. Now he's at forty-one now. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's solo second mm. by a bit. Mm 
What is that? It's a bear driving out of a Harley <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> These guys tapping in here. Okay, this is a this is a fun one, Dave. Hole 17, 229. Uh, it's a really beautiful tee shot. Oh, that was a great job by Ridge uh, filming yeah. that catch cam angle. You play like across this like open run and then like into into a walkway, and then the basket is on the like left side of this like dirt road oh oh hopefully that sat yeah. down because that could get to a bad place quick yeah looks like, looks like he could be in fern gully over there beautiful but treacherous for real though pizza This. All right, come on, come on. Let's see where Tristan ended up here. Oh, Ryan's up first. Hey, you're seeing like at, at 229. It it wasn't that that easy of a shot for these guys off the tee <clears> because <throat> you're out the opening into all this space and then through another tiny gap. Very fun shot. Yeah, really cool. We had a we had a blast on this one. I mean. I like it when the road is the, the fairway. Yeah, you know, yeah, I agree. An old road, anyway. Not the interstate. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Mm. Let's see if uh, Tristan can convert his uh, old 17 look. Makes it happen. It's a good par. He's got one hole to go. And this is Jewel for Birdie, right? I believe so, yeah. Oh, nerves of steel. Uh -huh. Look what's happening here. All of a sudden, he's two uh -huh. strokes. And I'll tell you right now, 18 can get away from you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, wait till you see it. I can't wait. You could, you could roll a rock from the tee pad and it would end up in the highway. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's steep. Buckle up, folks. <laughs> All of a sudden, it is a two-stroke game. Yeah, I got wow. work, I got worked on eighteen. No idea what to do. Yeah, I gotta try it again. <laughs> Couldn't figure out what the right play was. Well, don't throw a rock. Well, it rock might be <laughs> R -O -C -K. the play. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how steep this is. Oh my 485 god! Four hundred eighty-five foot par four. Bombs nope. away. And then, by the way, <clears throat> wow. Right side, left side, rough, rough, thick, real rough. You want to be okay. I like this. I like this. Uh... Whoa! Come on! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, so maybe it's not as hard as I thought. Maybe, was that, was maybe, that Mike Sale? That was Mike Sale. And... Wow. Oh, look at this. This is gone. Oh, never mind. He's fine. <laughs> never mind. He wins. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> they definitely have spotters down here. Oh, that's something to flip. Doesn't it just it makes the approach so difficult because it's so steep. How do you lay? How do you lay it up? It just keeps cruising. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say it's too hard and too right. Oh, Ryan, don't, don't, don't. Oh, this. He should be able to just pitch a putter down the hill and lay it down to the basket. He's like up on the ridge up here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I do like the feature at the bottom of this <clears throat> hole. It goes into this like slot this, canyon. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, it's really it's a crazy steep downhill. And then in that slot canyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be bouncing it off the walls like like he did there. He did not get down the hill there. He's still gonna have a putt. Smart little layup yep. there for he's Tristan. Gonna, it's like he's gonna take this one. He's gonna be winning the pizza. <clears throat> for real though. 
<laughs> uh, I love disc golf. Mike with the eagle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Wow. Moves him to 39. I totally space it. This is a par four. <laughs> yeah, me too. I... Typically, you see a 400 a... foot, 485 foot downhill. You think it's, oh, it's still a par three. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big time putt for Ryan to save that par there. Not that he was in danger of falling out of second place, but a roll away all of a sudden. And you've got Mike at 39. Yeah, so yeah. Big time clutch par putt there. Keeps him in that solo second place. Great job. And then Bane's going to take solo third. There we go. Some knuckles. Yeah, the love from the, the champion, yep. Tristan Cook. Let's see his celebration. Does he throw his arms in the air? Nope. It's like he's been there before. He claps for himself a little bit. Great job, Tristan. Great tournament. Yeah, that was so fun. Yeah. Nice little love from the boys. That's a long weekend for them. They they battled it out for a long, you know, a long time. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ryan Jules is 11 down. Nobody else better than seven or eight. Wow. He's just put together 11. Got our boy Nate Tolman from Premium Disc Golf, six under. Six under. Pushing fun. up. Cashing, baby. Yep. Got paid. Got paid. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thanks for having me, Spag. That was awesome. Oh, my gosh. It really was. That was a blast. I'm so glad you got to make it into the booth with us. And to everybody who tuned in, I hope you watched all five rounds. Uh, we had a blast with it. I hope you guys did. Let us know in the comments if you want us to stop talking about pizza. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> for real, though. Seriously, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Coming at you guys from Premium Disc Golf. Come check us out. South Lake Tahoe. Best disc golf shop in town. Yeah, guys. Appreciate you. Have a good night.